Hi, my Tubies, TikTokers with the worst camera in, in on the whatever. It's my tablet camera, what have you. What do narcissists do when they're alone? Are they any good when they're alone? <laughs> Let's listen in. This hate downtime and being alone and how that impacts the victim in the relationship. When a narcissist is alone without anyone around, without supply, without someone to listen to their lies, without someone to enable their false sense of self, they're alone with their thoughts and their true self and their shame starts to surface. Narcissists survive off of external validation. They need people to reinforce their facade. They need people to tell them who they are. And without that, they start to feel empty. To combat those feelings of emptiness and shame that start to surface, they seek out new supply in those moments to shut down those voices of self-hatred and get their false sense of self validated again so they can feel better about themselves. What I'm saying is when they're alone, they're going to cheat. They're going to get on dating apps. They're going to text people. They're going to have emotional affairs. They're going to meet up with people if they can because they need that external validation. When you're in a relationship with a narcissist, a lot of time the victim starts to pick up on this pattern of behavior that every single time you're not with them, they're trying to cheat. They're trying to talk to someone. They're trying to text someone. And it causes you to try to always be with them because you think that you can prevent them from cheating if you're always with them. And it often turns into an obsession. Your whole life starts revolving around making sure that they're not alone so that they can't cheat. You start turning down plans. You start isolating yourself from everyone just so that you can always be with them to make sure that they're not cheating. And then the narcissist narcissist turns around and gaslights you into thinking that you're being controlling because of this. And then you believe it because it does look that way, but it stemmed from their repeated unfaithfulness. Let's talk about how narcissists hate downtime and being alone and how that impacts the victim in the relationship. When a narcissist is alone without any... She's absolutely right. I know my ex-husband uh, is a narcissist. He's a full-blown narcissist, in fact, and he can't stand being alone. You know, uh, he uh, constantly needs people around you know, he says, because when he is alone, he gets a lot of stinking thinking and, and it's not good for him. And, uh, I just recently made it clear. I can't be nobody's babysitter, sweetheart. I'm certainly not going to be a babysitter to a man who's older than me. That's not going to happen. And I have a life. I don't have time to sit down here and wonder, you know, sit up under somebody constantly. You know, me personally, I love, love, love my alone time. Why? Because I have so many things I'm interested in. I have so many things to keep me occupied. There are times when I get lonely. I have gotten lonely sometimes, and that's when I used to lean towards abusing alcohol. But I stopped doing that because I know the Bible says drunkards will not inherit the kingdom of God. So you have to let that go, you know? So when I get like that now, I go to God in prayer. I will pick myself up, force myself to go out. Isolation is not a good thing, but I hardly, it's not often. When I become that lonely, you know, but I do have my moments. I'm not going to act like I'm above the rest. There's times when I'll be, it's painfully lonely and it's, and it's horrible. But, um, I always manage to find something to do. I created an activity bag and I keep myself busy with that. And when I really feel that I got to be around my people, cause my people, my, I have the three best friends, the same ones that I've had for 47 years, same ones. Now that's hard to do. And I recently, just um got a new friend who we've been friends for over five years i love you lisa you know who you are man anyway um my best bestie is Teresa. she know that's my heart that's my heart but she's like three four miles i mean hours away you know what i'm saying and then i have my girlfriend uh co you co the one i named my daughter after she's in florida that's like forever then anna she's three four she's in the bronx i'm in albany new york so it's hard. So there's times when I get lonely, but when I get like really crazy lonely, I just pack a bag and I'm out. I just shoot over to my girlfriend's house, hang out over there for three or four days. And then I come back and I'm ready to get my act together. I don't get lonely for men like male company. I don't because I, I already know what men are all about. I'm done with that. I'm woke. I'm no longer sleepwalking. I don't believe in fairy tales anymore. And I don't get, I don't get, I don't crave male company. I don't, not even a little bit, but I do crave my family. I crave the sisterhood. I crave being around other women because women are so interesting to me. They're empowering, they're nurturing, they're reasonable, they are powerful, and they're beautiful, you know, just inside and out. Whereas I find a lot of the men, they're very abrasive, they're too abrasive, they're mean, a lot of them are evil, they're selfish. 
You know, very few men have I found interesting. <laughs> Actually, I did find one or two. Yeah, whatever. Long story, but I won't go there. But the thing is, that's what narcissists do when they're alone. They can't stand their own company. And that's sad. They always have to be out there looking around for a uh, supply, somebody to stroke their ego, somebody to baby them, somebody to pamper them, somebody to whatever. They're exhausting. Do you hear me? Exhausting. Anyway, without further ado, there you have it, folks. Sheila True Love, signing off. Until next time. Ha, 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 ha.